Hi there and welcome to Dino's Vault. Once again today I'm checking out the TVS Jupiter ZX, the matte blue variant. Now this is same as the, uh, as the uh, Celebration Edition variant, uh, the Stallion Brown color variant which they released at the beginning of this year. Now the Celebration Edition has been termed as the ZX variant I think. Uh, we get two color options to choose from now. First is the brown color, uh, the brown and beige dual tone one as we saw earlier. You can watch that video of mine by following the link appearing on the screen right now. Apart from that uh, we now uh, get the matte blue variant that we are going to look at in this video. The Jupiter looks superb in this matte blue avatar as you can see for yourself and the beige blends really uh, well with the color scheme. The features, the specs, everything else remains pretty much the same. Let me quickly give you a brief overview of the scooter uh, for first time viewers. The Jupiter came across as the best value for money proposition in the 110cc scooter segment at the time of its launch and that is what has worked solely in its favor so far. It comes feature packed to the core. The design is a sensible one such that it would appeal to people of all age groups. The headlamp looks pretty prominent along with the pilot lamps. The Hawkeye shaped indicators look great. It comes with a full metal body that lends it uh, great sturdiness. The black alloy wheels and the blackened engine look stunning. At the back, the LED tail lamp uh, looks quite striking. The 3D brand emblem looks really nice and neat. We also get a stainless steel muffler guard that gives the scooter an upmarket feel. The overall fit and finish and build quality is very impressive. The switch gear is of good quality and we do get a high beam flasher as well which really comes in handy. The instrument console is an all analog unit. We do get two light indicators, one for the eco mode and one for the power mode. If the eco mode light turns on it means you are riding perfectly without over revving the engine and at the right speed to extract best fuel efficiency. If the power mode light is on it means you are having uh, some fun on the run. Talking about the special features, this is where the Jupiter really shines through. First of all, we get large 12 inch wheels and tubeless tires. The Gusto is the only other scooter to offer this currently. As mentioned before, we also get alloy wheels that look great. Uh, we get uh, uh, pilot lamps and I think Jupiter was the first scooter to offer pilot lamps in its segment. We get the same Duracool seat as that of the Celebration Edition variant. Uh, now this is supposed to retain 10 degrees lesser heat when parked outside in the hot sun. For this to be effective, uh, TVS recommend not using any seat cover on top of it. We also get telescopic suspension up front and gas filled monoshock at the rear that offers superb ride quality. TVS also claim that uh, the Jupiter offers best in class legroom of 375 millimeters. We get fuel lid at the back uh, such that you don't have to open up the seat each time you land up in a petrol bunk. The Jupiter comes with the largest wheelbase uh, of 1275 millimeters. The only other scooter to match this is the Gusto. Uh, this translates into better high speed stability. The kickstart lever too is conveniently placed so that you can use it without getting off the seat. TVS claimed the headlamp of the Jupiter to be the brightest in its segment which uh, means better visibility at night. We do get a parking brake that prevents the vehicle from rolling back when parked on inclines. Most importantly apart from the hook underneath the seat we get a hook placed beneath the handle that really comes in handy to put on your grocery bags. Now powering the Jupiter is a 4 stroke single cylinder 109.7 cc engine that puts out a maximum power of 8.2 PS at 7500 rpm and 8 newton meters of torque at 5500 rpm the scooter offers great pickup the engine is nice and refined and smooth the seat is nice and comfortable the flat floorboard offers adequate legroom uh, jupiter offers superior ride quality and great stability under seat storage is 17 liters Ground clearance is 150 millimeters, seat height is 765 millimeters, fuel tank capacity is 5 liters. Mileage claim for the Jupiter is 62 kmpl. I believe you can expect around 50 plus kmpl in real world conditions. Please go through my mileage tips uh, link mentioned in the description portion below. Price X showroom Hyderabad uh, for this uh, ZX variant is 54,739. So that's pretty much it. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.